snack. Welcome back to the Prem and Proper YouTube channel. So if you have been following our last few videos, then you know that I am interrupting our closet series with something from the kitchen. Because I know some of you are missing the goodies from the kitchen. But guess what? I was really excited about sharing this with you and so I thought I will put it in there while we're still working on the closet. But I have recently been making my own tomato sauce at home and y'all I don't think I will be buying canned tomato sauce anymore because this tomato sauce recipe is so good. It has changed the flavor of my stews since I started using it. And I just couldn't wait to share it with you all. It is so good, so, so good, and so worth the time, the effort. And I think the best part about it is that you actually know what is getting, what's in your tomato sauce, what's what you're putting in, um, other than the canned one that we don't know what exactly has gone into it. So let's go ahead and get into this recipe. So you will need some fresh tomatoes, you will need some red onions, you will need um, some sweet bell pepper, preferably a red one and a green one. You will need some fresh parsley, you will need some rosemary, some thyme, some garlic, some ginger. You can use some um, hot pepper, um, some jalapeno, habanero, or whichever you prefer. Or you can also use some paprika. That's fine also. Um, and so I will put the exact um, quantity that I used in the description below. And you can go ahead and adjust um, your quantity depending on how much you make. Um, so I think I've mentioned every thing that you would need. And um, if I haven't already mentioned, you also need some ginger. So you first start by cutting up your onions into a little, um, into smaller pieces, um, depending on the pan that you're using, just to help everything to fit into your pan. I also sliced up my green bell pepper and my red bell pepper so that it fits into my pan. Um, and then everything is going into the oven. I'm going to broil it. So the recipe says that you roast it, um, but I don't have that feature on my oven. So I use the broil. You have to be careful if you're using this feature. Um, it burns very quickly. So you want to keep an eye on your, um, on your food. So um, what I did basically was that I put it in the oven and let it broil for about five minutes, keeping an eye on it and turning it. So you want to kind of roast your ingredients. Um, and then after it has roasted for about five to 10 minutes, you will see that um, a lot of the juices from the tomatoes will start um, coming out and you see it in your pan. Um, at that point, you want to kind of flip and mix things up. Um, and then at this point, you can go ahead and add your herbs like the parsley, 
um, the rosemary, the thyme, and also at this point, go ahead and add your ginger. So you want the ginger to kind of soak up into all the fluids that are coming from the tomatoes and let it all soak up. Um, and then at this point, go ahead and lower your oven at about 300 degrees and just let it do its thing. So you want it to cook slowly um, in the oven at this point. If you're using paprika at this point, go ahead and sprinkle a little on top of it and just put your ingredients in the oven. Let it cook slowly for 45 minutes to an hour. It's important that you keep an eye on your tomato sauce ingredients while it's cooking. Go ahead and stir your ingredients together every about 20 minutes and make sure that everything is just getting infused together and so that you can get the delicious flavor that you're looking for. So it's been about an hour now and at this point my ingredients are ready to come out. I'm going to transfer everything into my blender and I'm going to blend everything together. So as you can see, I have a lot of fluid and sauce around it. I'm going to put it in my blender. And since I didn't pull off the stems of the thyme when I was baking it, at this point, I'm also going to pull out the stems because I don't want to blend it together with the rest of my ingredients. But if you were not using fresh thyme, you wouldn't have the stem, so you would not have to worry about that. So go ahead and blend everything together to get your sauce. And after you're done blending it, you want to go ahead and put your blended sauce back into the oven. So what that's going to do is, it's going to make sure that you don't have any excess fluid in the sauce that you don't need. So go ahead and put it back in your oven and keep it in your oven for 30 to 45 minutes. The longer you keep your sauce in the oven, the less fluid you're going to have. And the less fluid you have, um, the shorter cooking time you would need when you're actually using your sauce to make a stew or something. You won't have too much fluid in it that you don't need. And y'all, I recently broke my blender and my husband replaced it with this professional ninja blender that I've always wanted. And it is doing wonders in my kitchen. I'm so in love with it. It's, it's so efficient and it just does such a great job. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back in my oven and just let it do its thing. Um, so like I said, the longer you keep it in, the less cooking time you need when you're using it. So this is what my sauce looks like. I wish you all could smell it. It smells absolutely um, amazing and it tastes even better. So I forgot to mention that this recipe that I'm using, I learned this from a YouTuber who is called Original Mama Betty. I discovered her a couple of weeks ago and I'm absolutely in love with her recipes, her tips. They are so great. I've tried several things that she shared or tips that she's given and I've just noticed a difference and an upgrade, a prim and proper touch to everything I've done that I've learned from her. So I am using my tomato sauce in my tomato base stew that I'm making today. Um, I've learned some trips from Original Mama Betty for my tomato base stew and I absolutely love it and can't wait to share that with you all in another video also. So guys, I hope you will try this tomato base sauce recipe. It is so good. It is so amazing. You can use it for any of your stews. You can put a little in your soup. It's so great um, and I hope you will try it. So thank you so much for watching this video. We really appreciate you all. We know that we are a channel with um, a small 
base, you know, small subscribers. We're not as large as many of the channels, but we absolutely appreciate the few of you that we have. And we really believe that even though we're small, we're mighty. Um, but we would like to ask you to help us to grow our channel. If you know anybody who would love this channel, who would appreciate this video, um, please share it with them. Encourage them to subscribe to our channel and come back for more. If you enjoyed watching this video, give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you do try it or if you're planning to try it. Um, so thanks so much for watching this video and we hope to see you back soon. Bye, guys.